Hello, it is Wednesday, August 29th, 2012 at 2.26 a.m. Central Time. Um, just an hour or so ago, I made a video of these fires that are rising up in Idaho, Montana, California, Oregon, and I think even in Canada here. Um, and I've gone back and looked at it closer and I wanted to add a, a few things to it. First of all, I talked about these pulses, one coming out right here out of Montana and one coming here out of Colorado and meeting in Idaho here and that's where a lot of the um, fires are breaking out. But also there's, and I'm not sure if you can see it, there's two more circles. There's one right here, actually let me turn, and one right here. I'll turn the counties on. So one's right here and I've got to turn it back off so I can see it. And one right there, right there. And I'm not sure if you can see it, this red and gray on the gray doesn't show up very well. I'm just going to go through and show you a few other things I found. Um, here we're looking at the, a closer shot of the visible satellite. I wanted to point out particularly a smoke cloud right here. It's a pretty intense one, right where, kind of where it comes down and just starts back up again. I'll talk about a few minutes here. And then this is the infrared. Let me turn the counties off and let you look at it and turn off the color a minute so you can see what it looks like. And if I go up in here, I turn on the, um, actually it was the color enhanced we were looking at. Right here. You can see Everything's moving this way, and you'll see something actually come down and then bounce back up. It'll be right in here. See that? And then also notice that we have some really intense heat areas right here and right here. I'll zoom in so you can see them better. This is infrared, so it's reading the heat as well. Right here, where it's turning black. These these three areas. Actually, there's one down here, too. And let's see. No, I don't need to talk about that again. Here's the radar. And let me get that started going. And let's go forward. Let's see. I'm looking for the one starting. Here it is. There's only a couple frames. Right here is the one in Oregon, that really hot area. It's just a little blurb here. Let's see if I can go back another frame. Okay, this is the beginning of the loop right here that I have. And you can see it starts fading out. It seems to disappear right as a beam comes out up here in Washington. Oops. And then it seems to move over and come down into here. I thought that was odd. I'm kind of clicking through here. And then also, we can still see this one that I pointed out in Idaho, too, that's continuing to burn pretty hot. Oops, let's get this started. It's just a continual flow here. And like I said, most fires don't usually show up on the radar like this. I'm going to unzoom it here. The other fire seems to, the other fires don't seem to be showing up either. I went to the next rad sites right here and zeroed in on this one right here. And that would be Missoula. And I set it for 200, 200 frame loop. And here's that little area I was showing you in. Idaho. It's right on the border. See it's still pumping out. Now the loop's just going to start over right here. And then notice that a beam comes through and it really changes character of the whole thing right there. And then these start rising up. And there was a flash. I don't know if you just saw it. And there's another one coming up also right after that beam went through again. So I'll let it play through one more time.
These little V's here are kind of interesting too. Oop, there was a flash. Another flash. And this is still pumping out. I went to the um, Active Fire mapping program. I'll put a link below the video. And I went to the actually the fire detection maps for the ones I'm going to show you, be showing you. Oops, I shot that one. That's no good. I'll have to open it again. Here's the one in Oregon that um, was black. Let me go back out. It's just right here. Prairie City's up in here. And there's no, I thought maybe that there would be a, a lake or something there, and there's not. It's just a mountain area. And let's open back up the one. Fire detection maps. Go here. Go JPEG image. Maybe this update. I couldn't find that fire on this map, and that's kind of what I wanted to show you. It's taking a while to load. And it's hard to see the border here. Here it is. You can see there has been quite a bit of fire activity, and there's been fires right here in that area, but it's not showing um, a current one. I think the yellow is, let's see if we can find the legend. Well, that's not the legend over here, yeah. Well, since January 1st, so nothing in the last 24 hours, although it says it's current as of um, 19 mountain daylight time. I don't have the conversion for you, so. Um, and I want to show you in Google Earth. I went and looked at that area. It's right here. And I didn't, the only thing I saw was that it's a mine. Because this, this is the pumping out still. Or it's a mining area because right up here, I'm not sure what this is. But there was a road labeled something mine road. It looks like it's yeah, Mine Creek Road. So this I thought I found this to be odd. Maybe it's a burned out area. I don't know. It's right at the turnaround here. So I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to show you just a little bit more on those fires. It's really interesting that such odd things are happening as the hurricane is hovering. It's actually, right now it's just standing still in the Gulf. So, um, and again, what these fires, this, um, the smoke from these fires will be fueling the New Madrid area. That air will be moving over the New Madrid area within about 30 hours. So, anyway, there you have it. I hope that was helpful. God bless you.